Hey guys, today's video is gonna be a night market shopping, eating, exploring type vlog. So today's Friday night and there's a night market called Pluin Rui D Night Market. I hope you say that right. And on Saturday night, there's also a different night market. We are going to that one tomorrow as well. But tonight we are going to the Friday night one and we eat and explore. So let's go. So we were debating if we wanted to get Grab, which is the Uber of Thailand, or walk. But in the end we decided, let's walk and see the same streets that we saw today, but during night, and how they transform. This is about a 30 minutes walk from uh, our place. Also we need to withdraw cash. Alright, we got cash, so let's go to the night market. So when nighttime hits in Chiang Mai, you can smell barbecues all over the streets. So I feel like every single corner there's barbecue, right? But we're going to the night market where there's more barbecue. Let's go! <laughs> So we stumbled on this little street, or little alley with a night market and it's so beautiful. This is not the final one that we're heading to, but it's definitely worth checking it out. Oh my gosh, this is where you put your feet in. Basically, you put your feet in this one and they eat your dead skin. So basically, for me, it will leave bones, that's it. <laughs> it was so worth it not taking the cab because we would have missed that little alley. Look how beautiful this one. So this that you see in here is a sort of river that surrounds the entire downtown on Chiang Mai. So we are staying in the inside, in the downtown area, and now we're heading towards the Ping River, where the market is. I guess check out the map of Chiang Mai in Google Map. You'll see there's like a square. So there's like an inside core, which is like a downtown area, and outside the square, which is like the wall, is like the outside, non-downtown area. I don't know. So even though we're walking in the back alley, in the middle of the night, in Chiang Mai, I feel very safe. Like the fact that I see a lot of tourists walking around the city, I do feel very safe. I don't feel threatened. I don't know, just an observation. And we're back to the main road. So now we just have to turn left and then all the way to the night market. And suddenly we didn't realize we were already here. We don't know what we expected. I think our goal is to just order a little tiny bit of every single thing from each booth so we can try everything. Can we have the uh, uh, shrimp? Uh, uh, yeah. More medium last, you can oh. the side. Let's do medium. I don't know Thai money. <laughs> It's our first stop, we saw the seafood right away and we knew we wanted seafood so we're gonna walk around later more for more snacks but for now we're having seafood. So we got the biggest shrimp they possibly could give us and it looks delicious. Freshly cooked. So sweet! Demolished. This whole plate costs us about 17 Canadian dollars and it has 8 shrimps. Jumbo, big tiger shrimp. Alright, on to the next one. Whatever we can find to eat, we're just gonna eat it because we're still hungry, obviously. It's just four shrimp. Let's go. Ah! 
next food we're gonna try. I don't know, we'll just get inspired. Let's see. <laughs> It's always a struggle when it comes to looking for the cash, the right money. How could we come to Thailand without trying the cow soy beef? They have four different options here, vegetarian with chicken, beef or seafood. And we choose the beef one because that's our favorite. So let's give it a try. A lot of flavors in my mouth right now. So good. Plate is clean. This was only four dollars. So the most expensive dish we got today was the shrimp because it's seafood. Tonight we're going to the Saturday night market. Let's go. We started walking, but shortly after we decided to catch a cab just because we're gonna save some time and uh, it's gonna be so much better for us. And in just about five minutes, we got here. So I'm very glad we didn't have to walk for 25. This is the best type of transportation to get around in Chiang Mai. That's for sure. Unless you're brave enough to ride a motorbike. But not me, not now. Not at my third day of travel. Alright guys, for dinner so far, we're having Pad Thai and some gyoza dumpling. So this Pad Thai is the most delicious Pad Thai I've ever tried in my whole life. And we love Thai food. This was about 55 baht, which is $2, around $2. And this was the same thing, 50. Okay guys, now it's time to try the gyoza. Mm, so good. But the pad thai though, the pad thai is sweet, savory, salty, spicy. It's so good. You name it. You name it. <laughs> Russian. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're not exaggerating when we say this is the most amazing food ever. The gyoza was so delicious, so tasty. When we got the one with chicken in it, it was so good. And the pad thai, it has a completely different flavor than all the pad thais I've tried in my life. Okay guys, next up, we're getting one of these sausages. They're so good. I'm still definitely hungry because Fabio and I split the food and I'm still hungry. And we're gonna try these sausages. It's 15 baht which is about, I don't know, cents, Canadian, something. One. This market is huge. There's a lot of corners. There's a lot of street going each direction. I still haven't eaten yet. It's hot. We'll wait. I'm 
I don't want it to squirt on me. Mm. There's no, rice. In, there's rice inside. Oh, is it? No, yeah. and pork. Mmm, it's good. Guys, this market is way bigger than I was expecting. I read something online about it, but I was like, yeah, sure, sure, it's big, whatever. But it's actually huge. You just get lost in it, because you think it's one road. That's what I thought. I thought it was in one main road, but actually it goes all over the place. So it's a whole block full of market. So for the last meal, I think the last meal for tonight, we've ate too much already and we have a tight budget. So for the last meal, I bought a chicken barbecue. It was 10 baht per stick. So I got two, so it's 20 baht. So that's around one dollar. Mmm. Mmm, tastes like chicken. <laughs> barbecue. Good thing. This one, so we share? Yeah, that one. Mango juice. Mango juice for 50 baht. Good morning from Thailand. Why can't we not figure this out?